Hi, welcome back. Uh, we are on our second mosaic assignment and you'll notice that my uh, environment is a little bit different. This is actually my parents' mosaic studio in Riverside, California. And this is definitely a place that I have grown to love and work in and work on so many projects. Um, today we're going to be continuing on in the theme of a square, patchwork square, so we're going to be working on a, a monarch butterfly. And we do have some butterflies in our mural, so this is a great practice. It's also going to be great practice for curves and lines. Um, for your materials today, you are going to have some orange and red vitreous tile, so it's really beautiful, small glass square pieces. We are going to have some yellow vitreous for detail. We're going to have some black hexagon tile. You're also going to need your wood glue, okay, and a pair of tile nippers. So you have those in your kit. And I believe that's it. So let's get started. Okay. So I have taped my piece down. I have covered it in plastic and then I have covered it in mesh and taped it down so it's not going to move. So what we're gonna start with, with our red and orange, we're gonna cut these into some strips um, that are going to be laid into the white areas uh, at the top of our butterfly wing. So on this side, there are one, two, three, four areas that will be red. It's mirrored in one, two, three, four sections. On the bottom, we're going to do um, yellow and many more compartments on the bottom. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. Um, so let me show you how we're gonna cut the strips. So you're gonna take your tile nippers and uh, the great thing about vitreous glass is that there are some lines and grooves on the back. Um, so those can kind of be your guide for where you wanna cut across. Okay, and again, uh, we do not ever start unless we have our protective goggles on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on just to be safe. So please make sure you're protecting your eyes. And put, if you can see that, about a quarter of an inch into my tooth here. And what I like to do is I like to hold it on the opposite end so that I can kind of um, control where it's breaking. So I'm gonna hold it here and I'm gonna put pressure on the tile. Okay, and that's so nice when I hold it because then I get that really nice clean line. Now it may not be a perfectly straight line, but it's getting there. So I'm gonna just kinda lay that on top of my first groove and I'm gonna cut another strip. And again, about a quarter of an inch in, holding with my thumb and my pointer on this side and I'm just going to kind of direct it across. Okay, now that one was a little bit different. It kind of went at a diagonal and that's perfectly fine because I'm going to need those um, when they start to kind of create these triangular pieces. So I'm going to save that one for later and I'm going to cut this one down a little bit slightly smaller and I'm going to lay that there. Okay, so I actually have that first line laid in there beautifully. Another tool that I will include in your kit is a Sharpie. So one thing I'm noticing is that I want a little bit of a point on the edge here. So I'm just gonna mark it with Sharpie. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit of a point. Okay, come in and nip and Now one thing that you will find about uh, vitreous glass is that sometimes it has a mind of its own. So any of these little shards, I'm going to kind of save them over here for later, see if I can fill them in like some of these great areas over here, because um, you never know where you might need some small bit of detail in there. So I'm just going to keep cutting away and I'll do a time lapse to kind of show you the progression as I go. But see how what I love to do before I glue on is to just kind of lay them in place. So go ahead and give it a try. Start cutting some strips and laying them down and see how far you get with that. And then we'll move on to the next step. 
So I wanna talk about a couple of skills in mosaic making that I would like you to think about. And one of them is uh, the question, do I need to fill all of the space with tile? And the answer is no. Uh, please feel free to leave some spaces in between the tile because that space will be filled with grout. Um, so that is uh, sort of the mortar that goes in between all of the beautiful tile and it really ties everything together. So please do not stress over getting everything right on top of each other and filling every little space with tile because that will be um, grouted and uh, completed uh, in that process. You know, one mm. thing that's really great uh, about sort of laying the pieces out before you glue them is you can move them around, you can play with them, you can, you know, trim them down. So um, don't give yourself a, a massive deadline either. Just really enjoy it. Put on some music, have some water or whatever type of beverage you'd like and uh, just enjoy the time. And hopefully you're working on this with someone. Um, I know I love to work with my mom in her studio here. Um, you might be working with your grandma, you might be working with your children. So in this next step, we're gonna be filling all the edges around the butterfly in black. The body of the butterfly is black. And if you'd like to make the antennas, those will also be black. So before I get started, what I like to do is to create a pile of uh, smaller uh, cut black pieces. So I am going to take my hexagon and also just as a reminder, please pause because sometimes we forget and put on your goggles. Um, and the same thing applies. So I'm gonna put about a quarter of an inch inside the tooth. I'm gonna hold it on the other end to control the cut and I'm going to clip and I get those nice clean cuts. So make a little pile of your black hexagons and cut those into strips. This will be good practice for cutting, okay? And they don't have to be perfect. Little triangles are gonna help you, uh, little squares, uh, little long pieces. And of course, because they are already hexagons, you're gonna have some nice um, angles to angle around these corners and uh, go ahead and make a nice little pile so you can choose from here. You can look through and see what piece you'd like to put on next. And you can go ahead and get started in filling all around your butterfly. One thing you'll notice as I work al along the edges, um, filling the wings with black on the butterfly, is that I am actually going to avoid all of those little tiny details in the top corners of the butterfly wings. The reason why I'm doing this is to avoid having to cut teeny tiny uh, little pieces to go around those edges. So what I would like you to do and uh, remember is that sometimes those itty bitty minor details are actually a distraction from the piece and sometimes it's nice to give it a nice full fill of color. You'll notice that I'm putting glue in between the little red spaces and the little yellow spaces to fill those with black. Please remember though that you don't have to fill all of those teeny tiny crevices. The final step in the mosaic is to create the background, which will be in this beautiful blue and green vitreous tile. What I like to do for background is to create a border of tile first. So you're gonna line your tiles up across the bottom and the top. And as you need, uh, use your Sharpie to uh, create any lines where you need to make cuts. Uh, but one thing that's really smart is to try to use all of the whole pieces of vitreous tile. That way you can leave the cutting of all of the smaller parts until the very end. So one thing you'll see I'm doing is just completing all of those whole tiles. I believe uh, you'll have nine across and nine down. And then taking the time to make all of those little individual cuts for the small pieces. I hope you enjoy this project. Have a wonderful time.